Hello and welcome to my walkthrough of Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. We're back here right outside the entrance to Pirate's Cove. You may recall, if you watched the whole thing, that there was an episode that I couldn't, that I messed up the, the video for. I had no video. I had audio. I released it as an audio only episode. I thought I'd go back and revisit that. Um, my experience has been every time I leave Pirate's Cove and come back, that everything repopulates. Now, something was different. So when I did the last episode, Walk on the Dark Side, you know, I, we were in the, uh, uh, the, the Dungeon of the Abyss. We were on, on level eight. I did an exit out of there, walked back up through the fire and poison to get back to the ship that was parked there. And then I sailed that ship up to Buccaneer's Den, and we did all the stuff that we did. And I did not save after that because I didn't want to save it. You'll notice my Ankh is, is, is still there. It was it was wiped out by using the Skull of Mundane uh, in that episode. Sorry, spoiler alert. Um, what, what gives me pause is... is I started up the game this time, and I started to do that same thing. I exited out of the out of the abyss. I walked through the fire and the poison to get to where I left the ship, and no ship. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And so then I gate traveled to uh, Lord British, and I had a couple ships there, and so I took one down. So I'm not quite sure if this is going to respawn the way I think. I feel like stuff's changing on me. I'm not sure, but what we're, we're going to try to do is I saved it right here. Um, and, and the first time I tried to do this, um, if you listen to the audio episode, then you know this, but I went in and I went out. And my thought process was to try to lure um, some of them, because there's like eight or nine of these guys there, of uh, these pirate ships. Uh, that was spectacularly unsuccessful because all of them came for me. And I had to... I mean, I, I sailed clear across the map pretty much uh, to get to the point where I could get some separation and fight them. And then I came back thinking, well, they're all dead. I killed them all. Well, no, they had respawned in there. So I had to come up with a different, a different strategy. And this is a strategy that I used. And basically is I want to engage as quickly as possible. You notice my ship health right now is 99. I've used the wheel. And so we're going to try to get into ship to ship, you know, hand combat, if you will, um, as opposed to trying to sit from a distance and hit them with our broadsides because I th we, we will quickly die if we do that. But let's give this a go. Right, so they did respawn. You'll, you'll notice there was still a ship sitting there with a red flag, so that was one of the ones that uh, we, we did this kind of thing on, and we, um, we killed everybody. Um, without having to, uh, you know, and, and so the ship just sits there. So there'll probably be a few more of those by the time we get done here. Now, the one thing I did do, and I don't, we'll see if I can get there, is I did get to the point where I could get into that little inlet there where we got off to go to the abyss, and that gave me the ability to um, to kind of sit there and pick them off a little bit, and that worked out pretty well. I else. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to try to do the same thing I did before. And that was like the key part of my strategy. Because then they could only come at me one at a time. Then I could use my broadsides. And if it really was looking like the ship was going to die, I could, you know, hop out, out of the ship. Uh, and, you know, to jump into poison. So there's, it's not without some danger. But, but let's get these guys taken care of. It's going to be, whoops, not you. I was meant to move you. Because you are melee. Oh. I should ready their slings and then they're not melee. That would be an excellent idea. Um, well, her next turn, I guess I will. Oh, she could have fought. I've got too many. And they're stealing our gold. I don't care. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to ready a weapon. I'm going to ready a sling for her. All right, good. Um, let's move some people over. And in fact, we'll move, move you up. All right, so this is the fun part. Everybody's lined up here with Joffrey, so only one person can help him. They're stealing more gold. I'd be I'd be upset if I wasn't out of things to buy in this world. <laughs> so let's get back to 
Joffrey. And now Katrina. Beautiful. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. All right, so. You, I'm going to ready a weapon, and I'm going to give you also a sling. So now everybody is is ranged, which is going to be really handy for this particular fight because we've, you know, it's all pretty much going to be ship to ship. Maybe ground the ship. It's going to be really nice if they all kind of, um, you know, line up like this as far as they, they, they come in for the... They come in for the. They get us in battle without us even having to move, like this particular ship did. That'll be that'll be really nice. I mean, at a minimum, I don't I don't know where this particular group came from, but the first one I think came from the top. So that way is now protected. <laughs> so uh, that gives us a little bit of of protection from the other ships. Now they may just shoot their way through the ships. I'm not sure. I don't remember from when I did this originally if that's what they did. They may have, they may not. All right, come on. All right. Oh, there we go, okay. What is this? <laughs> All right, this is new. This did not happen last time. I don't know if this is just the game kind of losing its, losing its, uh, it's whatever, you know, here. I, and and the ships can't get right up against us because of the of the what usually is the shoal water. I mean, we're supposed to be a ship of water, but you know that's never been a problem for Nixies and the like. But these guys don't seem to be fighting us. So yeah, I I, I really want to say that this is an out and out bug. Um, oh, they're phantoms. No, that doesn't make any sense. Why would they? I mean, we've seen phantoms before not have the right logo because it's supposed to be the the sword and shield, if I remember correctly. Um, but why I'd be fighting, I mean, I guess it makes some sense. If you look at the lore, um, if you look at the lore here, what we're supposed to be fighting is these are ghost ships here in this, here in this cove. Um, I mean, they don't look any different from any other uh, pirate ship that we have faced in this game. Uh, you'll notice also that the the image for the ship that's used for these phantoms is the image for our ship. Because, because they don't... Um, ships kind of have this blocky shape to them until... Until uh, I... I kill everybody on it i can't do that and then they go to this more angular sail with the red pennant at the top um so that's kind of interesting well we'll work our way through these guys I i'm assuming this this um equals a ship but uh, yeah like i say this did not happen last time and so I'm not certain what's going on. <laughs> I don't know if my my load of Ultima Four here is like I know I'm almost done, man. We gotta, it's we need to we need to do something about this. All right, come on, people. All right, I'm gonna bring you over. A couple of these ships are kind of edging their way toward the. Uh, Toward the toward the top and the bottom, and I'm kind of wondering if they're thinking about fleeing, which wouldn't break my heart. I should move Tim over. There we go, heavily damaged. All right, you just keep missing, Shamino. That's not really what I've come to expect of you. All right, come on, Katrina. Heavily wounded. All right, good. Phantom gone. Heavily wounded. Ugh. 
That's that's my that's my bad. I, I hit the wrong key. <sighs> Come on. We might be here a while if that one if we get these two out of the way. And then the one that's kind of down in the lower right hand corner, if he's just he hasn't really been moving. All right, and then there was one. I'm gonna put some people up against the... The gun, the uh, rails here, in hopes that maybe that might be, it might be able to entice that guy to come, come over. Phantom critical. That's good news. I must say, these guys don't move much. All right, so now we're just waiting on this guy. Okay, so finally, I had to cast Tremor. Um, because I sat there and, let's see, it was 69, we're doing okay. 59. 39. All right, I'm going to exit the ship. All right. Yeah, that's what I thought I remembered. If I just got on the ship, that was enough. So this is what I did last time. I, 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 I got a, a few of them. Um, I got a few of them uh, on, our, on my way in, and then I made it into like this little choke point, and then I could really start dealing with them one-on-one. -on -one. That phantom thing was just really weird, and I don't know that that, fa that phantom that was there that last one was ever going to move. And then I realized that, well, it's probably just makes the best sense to use, to use magic on him. But I had to use something like tremor or jinx because, um, he wasn't in a place that we could target directly, but thankfully, um, he died on the first, on the first tremor. So that worked out well. Okay, and then there were two. <laughs> Let's see if we can get rid of some of these. I don't know how many tremors I have, in all honesty. Um, I, I've been using them a lot, but then again, last episode doesn't count because I I, I restocked my, my stockpile, if you will. Let's go tech. All right. I'm going to put her down there so that somebody can come up behind her and we can get at least two people firing at this phantom. Again, I have not seen this before where we've gotten a phantom from the ship. I'm pretty sure. I mean, we've had all the normal sea creatures, Nixies and Squiddies and sea serpents and seahorses, but I don't remember getting phantoms here. Barely wounded man. This guy needs some serious, I might do another tremor on him. I don't know. Missed. That's not helpful. You know, I'm going to try, since this guy seems to have some health, Shamino can cast. And I've got a bunch of fireballs. Let's see what a fireball in his face does. Kills him. 
Beautiful. All right, so we've got two left. Well, that's interesting. That ship disappeared. All right. All right, that worked. That worked. Uh, how many tremors do I have left? I have six. <laughs> All right, I like those odds. Eight against one. What's not to like? All right. Is he fleeing already? He might be because of the tremor. Yeah, okay. Ooh, cool. All right. Um, let's see. So I'm going to exit. I'm going to board. I'm going to use wheel don't really need it all right oh what if i do it again mp2 low oh because it's not me it's joffrey idiot uh i don't think iolo's got the magic for a tremor and i don't think julia does either i think shamano does no, I guess not. Maybe nobody but me has it. And mine obviously needs you charging. That's okay. We'll get these we'll get these guys taken care of. There's only four of them. I'm not worried about it. And this is our last I think this is our last ship, if I remember correctly. Uh you should have fought. Alright. He's fleeing. As always, best of luck with that. That guy's lightly wounded. Uh, let's see. Katrina should have fought. All right, that guy's gone. So we're just uh, we're down to two. There's a guy coming up the way here. Looking to steal our gold. For all the good it's going to do you. You'll be taking it down to J.V. Jones' locker, you will. I'd like to say that in a pirate voice, but I'm kind of getting over a cold, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't think I can. I don't think I can swing that right now. Perfect. All right. Let's see. All right, that's already annoying. So I'm gonna cure. Let's see, Katrina, and I'm gonna cure Iolo. Julia. John. Oh, my MP's too low. So cast Shamino. Seven. Cure me. All right. So there you go. You can see uh, we've got a few more ships in here. This one here was the one from the first time I got through. That's basically how I did it. You know, with the exception of the um, phantoms, which was weird. <laughs> I don't understand that, but whatever. Um, yeah, that's how I made it through here. Short of the, um, you know, me basically running for my life <laughs> the opposite direction. Hope you know, when I realized that my strategy of, of you know, uh, getting one or two to follow me out of the cove into the big sea didn't work and they were all coming. My second try where I actually came back in after I killed all those guys uh, looked pretty much like this, minus the phantoms. Again, don't get that, but whatever. I'm guessing it's just a game being a game. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this is the final episode for Ultima 4. This was the last thing I had in mind that I wanted to do to kind of recreate this. Um, for anybody that was curious how this battle went, since I didn't get it on video, um, now I have. So I hope you enjoyed it, uh, and I hope you come back for what's next. There is a something next. I am working on it. Uh, I'm not going to say any more than that at this point, but thank you for watching. Please come back for whatever I do next, and until then, be seeing you. <laughs>